Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely well. Guys, in today's video, we are going to talk about Cognizant Genesee Technical Assessment for 2025 batch and the emails are out. We are also going to see the emails. I will be telling you the exact pattern of the exam, how many questions you are going to get, how much time you will be getting and from where you can prepare. Everything we will be discussing in this video along with cluster based dis uh, queries and also some preparation tips at the end of the video. Make sure that you watch the video till complete and so that you don't miss on any of the important information related to your technical assessment so that you don't have to regret on later. Before we start the video, if you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel as I regularly post these kinds of helpful videos for all of you on a regular basis. And guys, if any one of you is not aware, I have a complete playlist on Cognizant Prep on my channel where you will find a lot of videos related to Gen C exam preparation, be it from communication assessment, technical assessment, you will get exact questions and there will be high chances that the same exact questions are going to repeat in your assessment. So I would highly recommend you to prepare from all these videos. So without wasting any time, let's get started with today's video and let's first of all see what we are going to cover in this video. We are going to talk about the assessment, then we are going to see the assessment exam date and time. Then we are going to see the MSB setup and compatibility which is very important for you to do before your assessment otherwise you might end up having troubles during your examination. Then we are going to see some of the examination instructions then we are going to talk about cluster wise skill mapping and finally we are going to see tips and FAQs, uh, FAQs for the technical assessment. Let's start with the email first of all. So here is the email that the candidates have received related to your technical assessment. It says Cognizant invites you to take the technical assessment and the email says Dear candidates greeting from Cognizant, we are pleased to share you that you have been shortlisted for the Cognizant hiring technical assessment and the duration of the assessment is 120 minutes. Okay, so this is the email which the candidates have received. This email is for your like uh, Cognizant technical assessment. You need to like start and access your like assessment via this email. Let's see more details about the assessment now. Cognizant has started sending out the emails to the shortlisted candidates for second phase of hiring, which is the technical assessment. The exam will be conducted online and will have one tw uh, will have the duration of one twenty minutes. Only one attempt is allowed for this examination. Now, guys, few of the candidates were having queries that uh, like. Communication assessment, aptitude assessment and technical assessment are elimination assess uh, like rounds in individual itself or not. So guys, let me make it very clear that these three assessments that is your communication, aptitude and technical assessment are not elimination assessments uh, or elimination rounds in itself. But what happens usually is based on the performance of all these three rounds, your average performance will be calculated at the end and then you will be shortlisted for a like role and then you will be having interview based on that. So you have to consider that. Uh, your performance should be very good in this assessment based on that only you will be shortlisted for interviews if your performance is bad then you won't be shortlisted for interviews so indirectly you can say uh, sooner or later you will get eliminated if your performance is not good okay now talking about the exam dates and time so the date of the exam is going to be 12th of may 2025 and time is going to be 7 pm ist now time might differ because you know uh, cognizant usually send emails related to their assessments uh, in different sets the exam ha happens in different sets and in different timings so there might be a possibility that your assessment will be on a different time but yeah make sure that you check your emails for the exact schedule and make sure also check your spam folders it is very important because sometimes the emails goes into spam folders and you don't want to miss it Moving on, let's talk about the MSB system uh, setup and system compatibility check. It is very important because guys, we have seen a lot of times and not a lot of times, I would say out of 100%, 20 to 25% chances are there that if your MSB setup is not proper, your exam will stop in between and then you might end up uh, like, you know, stressing out what you need to do. So first thing I want to let you know now itself that if you also face this issue during your examination, that your assessments get closed in between, what you need to do is you need to restart your assessment just quickly because there is a time frame that within which if you restart the assessment then you can still continue from the where, uh, part where you left off okay okay now, now let's talk about msb setup the assessment will be conducted via msb which is my solution buddy platform ensure that you are using the latest version of msb that is version 35 plus and run the system compatibility check well in advance applicable for windows only system and mac users will not have any issues they can continue normally you need to disable antivirus and keep your laptop fully charged that is important okay now some of the exam day instructions for all of you guys who are going to prepare or like appear for your examination first of all is you need to attempt the test in a quiet area with a good lighting your face must be clearly visible on the camera and all the times 
do not press F5 or refresh it. It may submit the test automatically. So please be aware of that and attempt all the questions. Skipping is not allowed. And guys, this is a like uh, there is no negative marking. Okay, no negative marking in this examination. So I would highly recommend you that you like attempt all the sections. Don't click finish test unless all the sections are done from your end. Okay, and guys, before we move on to the next part, I want to let you know that I am regularly posting preparation material also on my channel related to different as uh, like you know sections of your technical assessment and this video is a must watch for all of you this is around one hour 13 minutes long and you will get the exact portions that have been asked in the last two months in gen c assessment and there is high chances that the same questions are going to repeat in your assessment too we have seen that previously also the questions get repeated and there is very very high probability that the questions that are covered in this video will get repeated for you also so don't miss that you don't cover this video at least like you know watch it in one go there is very high chances okay now let's talk about cluster wise scale mapping so you will be assigned to a specific cluster to check your cluster uh, what you need to do is you need to cl click on start the test and you don't have to worry that okay if you will click on start test the test will start like you know begin immediately why am i telling this because many of the candidates have this doubt that how do we get to know which cluster we have been allotted to and you know some of the candidates still like you know stays in this doubt only and they get to know when they appear for the assessment and let me tell you the biggest confusion what happens in this case is like most of the candidates thinks that i have registered for cluster one or cluster two whatever cluster so i will be getting the exact cluster and then they will get a big shock that when they will start to appear for the assessment their cluster is totally different for example let me give you one example one of the candidate they have selected cluster one while registration okay so now they are in this assumption that they will exactly get cluster one because they have selected cluster one right but no it is not the case cognizant has clearly told in his notification that cluster one, like they are giving you the option to choose cluster but the final decision of cluster one will be in their hands so you should not consider that whatever the cluster that you have selected the exact same cluster you will be getting so how can you confirm that which cluster you have got so for that only these are the steps that you need to click on start test whenever you receive your assessment email one day before or two days before you need to click on start test on the first screen itself you will see something like this which says cl1 cl2 or cl3 when you see this this means that whatever the cluster that you have got if you see cl3 which means you have got cluster 3 which is c sharp you have cl2 which means you have python based cluster and cl1 is java based cluster now talking about clusters so in cl1 which is cluster 1 you will be getting two java questions you will be getting two sql queries and then one uh, html css based you know front end question when coming to cluster 2 you will be getting two python based sql question uh, python based coding questions sql queries too and then coding fundamentals uh, which will be mcqs okay so mcqs will be there around 10 or so now coming to cluster 3 you will be getting c sharp based coding questions which will be two and then two queries and then html css based front end question which will be one each cluster has three sections and it will last for 120 minutes so prepare accordingly and attempt accordingly now before we end the video there are some tips for you so that you don't miss on any of the important like you know points before your, like while attempting your assessment please make sure that you prepare from the preparation video from my channel which i have already showcased you this is the video it is very important the coding questions as well as the sql queries everything is covered in this video make sure to prepare well from it complete a sample assessment to familiarize yourself with the platform go through the faqs and troubleshooting guide that is mentioned in the email so that you don't miss on any of the important information keep all the system ready and update it at least one day before the exam so that you don't like end up in hassle situation at the end moment stay calm manage your time as per section and do not like you know panic if the glitch occurs as i already mentioned you that in between sometimes you know the assessment like close gets closed uh, and just in case if you are not aware uh, what you do what you need to do uh, if your assessments get closed in between or something you can also send an email to support team or you can even raise the ticket in superset to the support team so guys that's all for this video i have tried to cover ev almost everything in this video if you have any more doubts please let me know in the comment section you can also join me on telegram and instagram and you can subscribe to the channel to receive all the latest regular updates that's all for this video thanks for watching the video and i will see you next time